Welcome from the Anchorage Folk Festival. I'm Mary Ann, past president with... John Sostman, current board president. Anchorage Folk Festival is a community-based, member-driven, volunteer-run, nonprofit based in Anchorage, Alaska. Our purpose is to perpetuate an annual folk arts festival with live performances and the broadest representation of the performers in our community. And we've done this for 35 years, and it's all free. It's an annual festival, the last two weekends of January, mostly at the University of Alaska Anchorage, with performances in the Wendy Williamson Auditorium. We feature main stage acts, professional guest artists, workshops, dances, a raffle, and all the details for the festival can be found at anchoragefolkfestival.org. We'll see you at the see Wendy. See you there. Hi, I'm Harmony. And I'm J-Bo. We make instrumentals. I like playing guitar, piano, violin, and I like singing too. And I like playing piano and recording artists when they come into the studio. The reason why I like making instrumentals is because I get to use different instruments and I get to make a beat. And then I get to put it on my YouTube channel and give it away for free. That way other artists can use it. So one change that we want to do this year is to actually open up the studio a little bit more for artists to actually do more of a in-studio performance. Now, we're not actually gonna be recording in different takes to make a record, but for you to come in and to actually perform one or two of your tracks. How much does it cost? Nothing. What is the age requirement? None. If you're ready to perform at any age from five to 55, well then come in. Hit us up on our Facebook page, Harmony and J-Bo Audio, if you ever wanted to come through and perform one or two of your tracks. Or hit me up on my Facebook page, J-Bo Audio. All right, that was it for today. Bye, see ya. One. Hello Alaska Music Summit, my name is Sarah Felder. I'm a percussionist from Fort Worth, Texas, currently residing in Anchorage, Alaska. The year 2023 was a year of a lot of new opportunities, collaborations, and growth for me. From playing with the Anchorage Cabaret Band, to the Spinard Jazz Fest, even the Monday Night Jazz Sessions, at the Fire Island Bakery. I also launched Divine Music Studio where I was able to bring a lot of different musicians together for further collaborations. And I began giving private drum lessons as an instructor. Lastly, at the end of 2022, I launched a band called Wasabi Black. And in 2023, we traveled the state of Alaska playing on stages anywhere from Seward to Girdwood to Fairbanks, even the Alaska Airline Center. Moving into 2024, you could catch me almost every Sunday at New Season Church. February the 2nd, you could catch Wasabi Black back at Humphy's. And February 23rd, you can catch me at Little Babes playing with Caitlin. Stay tuned for more dates and collaborations to come. Hi, Kimi. My name's Mike Moss. I'm from Juneau. I'm a music teacher and artist. My music studio is called Nagoonberry's Music, and I teach piano, guitar, and music production, songwriting theory type lessons. Uh, but my specialty lately has been rock band. Students come and choose a rock band instrument. I teach them the basics. I put them together in groups based on age level and ability, and off we go. It's super fun. Uh, right now I have bands made up of fourth and fifth graders all the way up to an adult band. I'm also a songwriter and producer, and I put out music under the artist name Blue Nagoon, short for Nagoonberries. And I primarily make vocal pop music these days in various genres, and I like to work with local singers to sing the songs. Last year I put out two albums. The first was called Crestfallen, a chill pop, jazz, lo-fi type album with Alyssa Fisher on vocals. And the second was a synth pop and 80s rock magnum opus called Here Be Dragons, and that features nine different lead singers, six of which were from Juno. Lately, I've started producing other people's music, which has been a blast. Uh, and it's always great to meet and work with new people. So if any of this stuff sounds interesting to you, please feel free to drop me a line. Uh, yeah, that's me, Mike Moss, Blue Nagoon, signing out. Hi, Alaska Music Summit. Casey Smith Project here from the Golden Heart City of Fairbanks, Alaska. It's been a busy 2023. We had uh, our new album come out, Red Lights and Whiskey, last February. In April, we got to go to Juneau for the Folk Festival. And over the summer, we made our way to Girdwood for the Forest Fair, to Denali, McCarthy, Palmer, to name a few. 2024 shaping up nice too. We're gonna go to Hawaii for our first out-of-state tour this February. And then in March, first and second, we'll be in Girdwood at the Sitzmark with Sundog. Those dates and all of our new music can be found on our website at caseysmithproject.com. Hello, my name is Achiungo Tagaling, and I'm the creative director of the Ock Rock Music Festival. And on behalf of the Ock Rock team, we would like to express a huge Uyana Hao Ah 
Und tschüss to everyone who helped make the festival a huge success. From the amazing musicians who shared their gifts and music, to the volunteers, our community partners, to our generous supporters, the support staff of Klinket and Haida, and the Juno Arts and Humanities Council, and most importantly of all, to all of you that came out to witness three nights of indigenous excellence. Over the course of three extraordinary days, history was made as indigenous musicians from around the world gathered to share their incredible talents. Ak Rock embodies the traditional tribal values, hold each other up, a reflection of the collaborative partnership between Klenged and Haida and the Juno Arts and Humanities Council. This commitment to fostering cultural diversity and promoting indigenous artists has left an indelible mark on the music industry that will echo for generations to come. We hope that all of you will join together with us as we look forward to Ock Rock 2025, endeavors that will further uplift and empower indigenous excellence. Huyana Viuga. At the southern end of the Richardson Highway, nestled on a strategically chosen corner in Valdez, Alaska, you will find magpies on the fly. Magpies has grown from its original nest as a small brick and mortar bakery that hosted quaint gatherings for individual acoustic musicians over 16 years ago into a food truck and outdoor venue that now hosts multiple events, dinner theater, and over a dozen large bands each summer. Over a decade of trials and locations, we have settled into our current nest and began to dream big and lean hard into the investing of the growth of our rural Alaska performing arts culture. 2023 was our fifth year of this and we began to see some traction. Magpies has successfully created products that connect our community and its visitors through food, art, and entertainment. This mission began with creating and growing a nonprofit production group, the Far North Follies, then partnering with them to bring dinner theater and historical comedy written, produced, and performed by locals to our Magpie stage. Our end of the road concert series is in its third year and beautifully growing. We began this project by bringing a professional audio engineer and musician on board, purchasing the correct equipment for her to do her job, and providing her with the space and budget to create a performance experience that all musicians have enjoyed and felt honored to be a part of. Last year, we grew even more when we were able to collaborate with our neighbors in McCarthy and Chitna, providing the musicians with a smooth weekend of adventure and paid performances along the Richardson Highway. We have been developing a business model that holds a product on the stage equally as important as the product in the cafe menu. In doing so, we have created many jobs and contract work opportunities for writers, musicians, and performers to truly embrace their art and take a risk on themselves. It has been an absolute privilege to be able to provide paid opportunities to the performers and a unique Alaskan experience in rural Alaska for our viewers. I think it's really fun to be growing up around all of this, knowing that someday I can also help. And I love that there's a place in Valdez where we can just go sing and dance on stage and you don't have to worry about anyone judging you. It's just there for you to have fun. Hey everybody, we are Luna and Ursus from Homer, Alaska. Uh, we had a good year. We released our first recording project, a uh, five song EP. And uh, we traveled around playing a bunch. We actually doubled the amount of gigs we had played the previous year uh, from 30 to 70, all in Alaska, mostly on the Kenai Peninsula. And our best, most enjoyable, largest crowd that we played to was at the Leva Amp Series in Soldotna, opening for a pipeline vocal project. And that was amazing, big crowd, great sound system. Yeah, that's good. And uh, now we're just working on some new singles with a new producer right here in Homer. And we're super stoked about getting those out, cranking that Spotify algorithm and just growing our fan base. And just looking for new gigs, playing new places, playing more places. We just want to just keep playing more and more. And Always. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rob Goldberg. I'm here in my shop near Haines, Alaska where I make guitars, violins, cellos, and mandolins. I love working with musicians to make the instrument that's just right for them so that they can make the music that they want to make. And music is great because music makes people happy. 
Yeah, wish it go like this. Um, pum, um, pum. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Tater Tot. One word, Pants. capital T A T E R, um, capital T O T T, no spaces. I'm a hip hop artist that grew up mostly in Nome, Alaska. I also spent some of my childhood right here in Anchorage in the UMed district. I was a dad before I started rapping, which inspired my motto, Food for Thought Music. My real name is Edward Tate, and that's where Tater Tot comes from. And with my initials being E.T., well, I rap about being an alien a lot. It's a lot of fun. And uh, what's coming next is a shameless plug with my kids. I can't slow down, no. No, 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 no. Yo, I uh, gladly uh, promote that song because it's got all of my kids on it. But um, I hope y'all uh, have a lot of fun here at the summit. If you're attending and if you're watching online, enjoy. Hi, I'm Lauren S.H. Scannelberry. I'm here in my cozy home office in Anchorage. 2023 was really good to me. I got to perform in person for the first time since before the pandemic and remember how special that is. This was also a year that I redefined for myself what it means to be an artist. I'm still writing songs, recording albums, performing, but I'm also more interested in making music in community. I got to see music this year as a healing agent for um, by playing music with people experiencing homelessness. And I want to continue exploring music as not just product, but as process and community and connection. And I'm excited to do more of that in 2024. Hey man, this is Kurt Riemann at Surreal Studios in downtown Anchorage, Alaska. This is the control room and that's the studio. Lots of microphones, good stuff in there coming in and make a beautiful sound. What I want to talk to you about is the Alaska Music Podcast. If you've done any kind of music in Alaska, I want you to send it to me so we can put it on the podcast. It airs once a week and it's an hours worth of Alaska music. Also, the other reason I watch your music is we have the Alaska Music Archives, a nonprofit that is collecting music from the 40s up until this week. So if you're doing music, you want to send it to us so it gets in that archive. Send us a single, send us an album, or whatever's next. All right, take care. Stay warm with an Alaskan song in your heart. Hey everybody, my name is Dave Emmert, and I am the host of the radio program Alaska's Fresh Catch. It's a weekly music program heard on seven stations across the state that focuses on new music, with a special spotlight on music coming out of Alaska. Now, 2023 was a big year. We built the show. Uh, we've done over 40 interviews, done a bunch of specials, and even took it on the road uh, and did a show down in Sitka. That was a lot of fun. So 2024 is going to be a lot of the same, but bigger and better, so stay tuned for that. But I thought it was important to participate in the Alaska Music Summit because I wanted to be a resource for the folks attending as a broadcaster. So um, if you're an Alaskan musician, by all means, I'd love to hear your music. If you're working on a music or music adjacent project, drop me a line. I'd love to chat about it on air. And even if you have questions about the radio side of the music industry, happy to answer those questions or point you in the right direction as well. So that said, big thank you to Marion and everybody over at Akimi and Music Alaska for all their hard work for the summit. And I'll see you guys in the rest of 2024. Hey, Alaska Music Summit. I'm Zane Penny. Um, I'm a local uh, singer and songwriter from Anchorage, Alaska. Um, I'm visiting family <laughs> out of state right now. That's, so that's why I'm not wearing a, a winter coat. But uh, 2023 was the best year of my life musically and just in every in every way um i went on my first tour with ashley young and huss i released my first album uh produced by huss myself and james glaves james glaves did most of the mixing on that one um i played sundown solstice festival that was awesome and 2024 is gonna be insane i'm looking forward to that um i have another tour planned for may bunch of shows shows lined up um so yeah i'm stoked to still be doing stuff and i'm stoked to be a part of this thanks for watching 
hi! My name is Finester. I am a local singer and songwriter here in Anchorage. And I specialize in R&B, soul, gospel, and OPM, which is Filipino music. I had the very opportunity of making my debut performance this year at the R&B Live back in April with Be Bad Production. And the privilege of being a part of the Ak Rock Festival fundraiser back in May, which I met so many wonderful people with the guidance of Engville and Andrea. And it's been such an adventure being a part of um, the Anchorage music industry. And it's been just such a blessing for me. And I was recently signed, actually, with Be Bad Productions, booking and management under the mentorship of Andrea Antoine. And I am looking forward to so many projects uh, in 2024. And I would like to formally invite you to my debut concert with my fellow artist, Jazzy Tungia, in March 9. And I would love to see you there. And lastly, I just want to wish everyone a good day at the Alaska Music Summit. Maraming salamat and mabuhay. Hey, everybody. My name is James Glaves. I'm a musician slash artist slash producer based out of Anchorage, Alaska. 2023 was a great year for me. I released nine solo singles under my band name Glaves. I collaborated with a bunch of other artists, and I also got the chance to produce some really cool artists, some being known as Zane Penny, Sundog, Bethlehem Shalom, and many, many others. And I'm hoping to do more of that in 2024. I also had a first this year. I got a placement on HBO for a show called Gossip Girl for one of my songs that I wrote several years back. That was very, very exciting. I filmed my very first music video as a solo artist this summer for my song called Dance Machine. It's really crazy and fun and silly. And um, I'm hoping to do another one here really soon, hopefully in February for another one of my new songs. And that was definitely a highlight of 2023. So thank you for uh, taking the time to check out this video. Peace. Hi, my name is Mark Manners. I'm a guitarist, composer, and educator based in Anchorage, Alaska. 2023 was a great year for me. I had the pleasure of playing with Grammy Award-winning drummer and composer Mark Walker in the Alaska Jazz Workshop faculty concerts. In the concerts, we featured original compositions by all the faculty members including my song, Journey to Forever. Having the opportunity to play with Mark Walker, John Damberg, the rest of the AJW faculty, Rick Zelensky, and all the other great musicians I got to play with in 2023 has helped me take the next step in becoming the guitarist and musician I want to be. For more information, visit my website at markmanners.com.